the bar that we have to jump over is to find new things about nature that no one ever knew before. When you start to learn the tools of science, you start to look at the whole world with this kind of curiosity and wonder about how things work. You're actually looking at the way the planet connects the dots. But the process is not always as linear as people realize it. Science tends to put people into smaller and smaller boxes. Our disciplines are really, really focused. It means we're looking at the world through a really small pinhole. And it's like everyone on the team is looking through a different pinhole. This is a multidisciplinary project. We have biologists. The water is filled with cells, and all we're doing is forcing the water through the filter to extract the DNA. And a group of geologists who are really interested in the chemistry of the volcano. This is what you want for melting pieces, stuff like this. We're able to look at the path of where carbon has been from going down to coming back out of the surface, and how the biology is playing a role in both of those things. So with all the red that you're seeing here, is that a biological I mean that, or...? Yeah, this looks great for us. Mm -hmm. like Dark it. reds. I like it. We are learning about the gases feeding our microbes, and at the same time, they are learning about the microbes that are affecting their gases. And so we're seeing deposition from multiple different volcanic events. To do these two things simultaneously and, and actually collect the samples side by side is a, is a very unique approach. I don't think it's ever been done before, and I think we're, we're learning a lot about how the disciplines intersect, and this is a fantastic place to do that natural experiment. Poas is an active volcano. It's one of the most extreme environment on Earth. There's folks on this trip that have never even seen a volcano before. I am a little nervous about going into Poez. We're going to be taking a, a steep descent. It's a bit of a scramble down into the crater. It's very dangerous. We have a number of signals we can read that tells us about the activity of the volcano, but there's always an inherent danger. You're right next to this acid lake with it's like a few hundred degrees of you know, acid mm. gases coming right out of the ground pH goes from zero to one. It means pure acid. Man, that's strong. Interdisciplinary science can lead to great results. These things don't uh, operate in a vacuum. The chemistry is intricately tied to the biology. Science is about exploration. This is one of the reasons I got into science in the first place, you know, the chance to visit places like this. You don't get a sense how massive natural processes are until you get inside the crater. It's incredible. That's really pretty. We're modern day explorers. There's so much that we don't know. A lot of people think we've studied everything to its greatest extent, but there's so much left to study. There's so many big questions left. <laughs>